is going to win? It has to be your voice, like Makeka or McJunior. Crossing hands. McJunior or Snyder? It's between Makeka or McJunior. It's McJunior and Makeka. I'm going to go with my boy Snyder, you know? McJunior, definitely. McJunior. Yes. That's no, yeah, that's Makeka. <laughs> and we're going to Dubai. I'm kidding. <laughs> So I've been very vocal about it. I'm rooting for my girl Z. She has to win. I even met her mom today. So it's a sign. My girl is winning. Papa post. Like, who else do you expect me to say, child? I personally think my cake is gonna win. Um, I think because you know he just has that relatability. In most cases, but they just want to win. You just hope that things just go well for him in life. And my cake is just one of those. If I was in the same hood as him, I'd bump into him. I think me and him would vibe. He's just one of those guys. The winner of Big Brother Zanzi season four is. You've done it, my son. You've gotten this far, and you are happy as your family. And we're Kept very proud. You. And we're very proud of you. Yeah. yeah. We didn't think that you would go this far, but he has made it. He's made it this far, so we are very happy. Well, the data sessions were very amazing, and uh, the acting part. Yeah, the acting. <laughs> the acting. Yeah, yeah, the acting part. Si chabulega kulu, swele namaso kumbonga, kubuka kwa zilu
wow. It, it takes something special to put yourself out there like that. You know, um, we all have things about ourselves that we might like or we might hate. And to have those be judged by the entire world is, is you know, it's very gutsy and ballsy. So very happy for him. And I wish him that that money multiplies a million times. I'm very proud of everything he achieved. I'm very proud that he got to show his talent in that way. Um, but then again, it's not just him. I'm proud of absolutely every one of those people that went into that house. I'm very proud of all of them. Like I said the other day, like I thought I was talented, but my brother supersedes everything I could ever become. You know, he's so good with words. He's so creative, you know, be it with raps, be it, he's got a, a good career for himself behind the camera as well. Very, very, very proud of him. Yeah, someone has actually written some very popular songs that you probably dance to as well from some of South Africa's biggest artists. So yeah, I mean, he's, he's always written, but music. I didn't know that he had the challenge when it comes to script writing. Yeah, life of the Big Brother has been good, man. It's been life, ups, downs. Uh, I'm celebrating an up at the moment. I recently uh, started a show called Kickstar Cafe on YFM in Sunday Fields. Be sure to tune in. We start from the 2nd of April. So that's been a blessing. Uh, actually, of the Big Brother, most people wanted my jersey. <laughs> I thought of auctioning it at some point. Uh, I found that hilarious. But yeah, there's been a lot of good. Uh, and I hope a lot of good for other people too. I know the attention and the love that you get after the show can be overwhelming. So capitalizing and doing the most from it is always good. I mean, they call it like, I call it hashtag being a mastermind. Hashtag Pumuga page. You know, I came through and I played a game that seemingly has become a, a, a blueprint, a foundation, a thing for people to aspire towards three-time HOH, uh, never really set up until the last day, uh, someone who was able to dictate when they leave the house, so that's an achievement, I appreciate that, and it's crazy to see how South Africans are <laughs> looking for it, even two seasons later, you know, I get home and I'm trending, you can't say any, ah, it's because of how I play the game, so yeah, it's beautiful to watch. Which one can I compare this Big Brother season to? You can't, you know, every time there's a new season, it's different characters, different people. Uh, so even when I'm humbled and, and, and excited when I see people compare me to some of the characters, this is a new journey, new people, new ideas. Um, so it's always tricky to compare it to anyone. But some of the people that I have been drawn to or enjoy watching are Yolanda, only because she just gets people going. Like, you can't help but watching crack. Uh, in the previous season, I made really good friends with Juicy J, Habang, you know? So it's really a grouping of people that you can't help but appreciate. There is no besides Yolanda. My favorite was Yolanda. She shook the house, man. She, she, she. And a lot of people say this, but only because it's true, you know? Uh, you either hate her or love her, but she shook the room. She was entertaining. Um, some people judge her for it. I watched it, enjoyed it. Life has been amazing. Life has been very happy. I've been very happy. I was, I liked her because she's an entertainer. You know, I saw her diary says, I'm like, no, <laughs> she's entertaining, like she really was entertaining, so I would give that to her. I was not happy, of course, that she came out, you know, in that manner, but what can I do? I don't think I had conflict with Yolanda, in all honesty, like I genuinely feel that Yolanda and I had, we had mutual respect for each other. She can just go over the top, but I am always, I'm very calm, you know. But <laughs> I don't know, there's nothing I can do. Yes. Oh, what have I been doing? Tomorrow I'm having an Easter egg hunt. I'm working on my campaign that is starting on the 15th of, what's the next month? May, 15th of May. Start, my mom's birthday is on the 14th of May. So my next campaign starts on the 15th of May. I'll be continuing with my animation. I've been in the studio, in the animation studio, doing the birth of Robotical Land. I can't wait for the world to see my first animation, the birth of Robotical Land. Yes. So we've got a, a few businesses that we're doing. I do solars, I do bow, uh, bow holes. Um, she does she does beverages, she does juices. Check out her juice, man. It's helping a lot of people. It's gonna help you as well. 
Uh, so yeah, man, if you need solar power, I'm your man. No, 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 where's the <laughs> mic? Can you tell me it? Uh, yesterday was nice, Raka. <laughs> well, when you see the house now, uh, and compared to, to our time, Oh, bro, technology's been there, swimming pool, jacuzzi, the waking jacuzzi, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put at my feet, the, the grass, big up to big yeah, brother, the And they've got space, man, uh, the house is bigger now, eh? The Seems like oh. uh, Biggie brought the next door neighbor out and Yo, extended the treats, their place. The ice cream treats, even if they fill their way, <laughs> they're still spoiling them, the yeah, meats, yeah. Uh, everything. Uh, yeah, I yeah. love it. So we, we, we were in the tough days, man. If you lose your wager, you, you go through yeah, the hardest. I, I remember we even yeah. had fat cakes the other day, but with them, uh, ice cream. It's nice. Yeah, fat cakes with Peloni. <laughs> Yeah man, yeah man. Yeah. After I left, everything like things have been amazing because like you know you get like background work, like you know you start to push towards like you know being outside the house, and yeah, life is amazing. Life is great. As you can see, I look good. I feel good, man. What's, what can I say? <laughs> I'm, I'm back at the gym. I'm getting bigger and bigger and better. And of course, like you know, there's like sponsorships and like you know people are scouting out and looking for for the boy here. Yeah. My parents are like uh, amazing, man. Like I, they came home, like they were just teary eyes or proud of me and whatsoever. And I, funny enough, they're actually sitting outside waiting for this. Like just, you know, saying they're like, oh, we want to see outside doing so. Like yeah, shout out my rents. So you went back home. I did, I did. They love me, man. <laughs> uh, nah, I keep a cordial, man. If she really wants to do some shit, like I'm always down for that. I'm, I'm a good guy. I never like shy size. And plus, we in the industry, we yet to be in the same spaces. So if I'm smart enough, I'll know that like you know it needs to be easy, it needs to be cordial, and I'll keep a clean vibe. Thank you very much, man. Uh, I didn't follow the protocol at all. I decided to do my own thing. <laughs> hey, man. What has Big Brother done for me? It made my idols know who I was. And then they liked what they saw. As you can see, we're doing the things now. Yeah. Wow, too many things have been happening in my life. What has not been happening in my life? I've been doing adverts, doing music, doing everything I said I'd do. If you check me up on IG, that's literally what I have is my, my, my bio. I wrote doing everything I said I'd do. That's what I'm doing right now. Biggie, where did you find these kids? <laughs> that's what I want to know, Biggie. They been marching too much. They followed the theme. They understood the assignments and they did well to deliver. But I was very sad to see the first guy get kicked out. I was very sad about that. I understand why it happened, but I was sad because I had hopes from Kaya. Come on now. But um, yeah, my favorite cheese, I don't know who my favorite is, but I like the people who are mushering the most or, or else <laughs> they're coming next. So <laughs> you can get to ask them as well. What's that? What's that? Come here, you flower boy. <laughs> What's up? What's up, flower boy? Hi, brother. All right. You know, right. hey, you looking nice as always. Look at you. Chest down and everything. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a darting. <laughs> <laughs> I made a lot of connection with friends. Yeah, man. Like, it's crazy because now each and everyone who, who's out of the house, they text me and say, like, bravo. Yeah, man, it's good, man. How was it when you came out with Big Brother? It's just bad, man, but I can come to, to you to do uh, the whole interviews. But not today. Today, I'm just here to support Kekele. It's very good. Let me give you the top two. How about that? It's Mac Junior and Makek. You can't be as young as you can. But you can't be as young as you To Papa Ghost, you know, my guy, like, I'm proud of you, dog, for not being a papa, man, being your own man. That's what I, I told you, man. Ask me who I'm dressed or who I'm wearing. Yes. I mean, yes. yeah. <laughs> okay, tell me why you dressed by. This is Kelaso Murabe, my designer. Thank you. His work is amazing. So I had to say it. Like, I had to. I had to make you ask me because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what, I had just came out of the house and I didn't really like check what was happening and everything and everything. Because obviously when we were inside the house we thought he was, you know, strong. And when I came out I realized his brother is Andy. In my head I'm like, well, ele, this nigga is... And he went out and came back. So those situations I was like, maybe he does have a fan base until I was actually out. I've done several interviews. I've been gigging. Yeah. I was doing with Master KG, dancing. So I am getting a little bit of work. It's increasing slowly but surely. And I am putting myself out there to try and see if I can work to reach my two million. Because we all know. <laughs> but remember, I have to like prove to them as well that they were right about me by working. You understand? I can't just sit there and be like, go fun. I have to work so they see 
what is it that they were believing in you understand my yoli fires yes so podcast and chill is more like very vibey and you know so you don't really like get to say most of the things that you want to say because you like throwing things there and there but with coffee i mean with coffee we had a not we had a chat you know like you're sitting with your friend you tell so you even remember everything that you need to say because with i realized with the the reviews of people podcast and chill it's like they thought i was not you know but then i'm sure when they realized when they listened to coffee with cosy they can tell that okay she was actually so it was a different type of interviews so with cosy i was able to like elaborate a lot of things whereas there it was a more like a vibe situation so yeah but i liked uh, podcast and chill more because it was vibey and yeah so with cosy we were sitting and chilling like girls and talking which was nice which allowed me to actually express and explain everything okay. i don't know but someone from botswana sent the dress one of my fans ladies legends we flames they sent the dress to me life is overwhelming also exciting and also very scary i don't want to lie there's a lot of changes that are happening and obviously it's you know i'm scared <laughs> of the change but i think i'm ready i feel like i'm preparing myself for something bigger so so to say i'm excited yeah oh my mom is very proud of me um she's she's amazing she's been one of the people that supported me emotionally as well and i really really needed that from my mom and you know parent especially in this time there's a lot happening you know in the internet i'm always trending for something good or bad um which doesn't really affect me i don't want to lie but i do need my mom <laughs> yeah Oh guys, I'm 500,000. I'm 500,000 richer, right? Yeah, that's that, that yeah, that's the number. Dinguzuma. <laughs> that's the number. That's the number. Life after Big Brother has its moments, you know. Sometimes it gets very overwhelming. But I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to enjoy the whole thing. Yeah, about now because it doesn't come often, you know. So yeah. It wasn't one of my best seasons I've ever watched. But yeah, it was it was yeah. It was look warm for me. Makeke obviously. Uh in Tanzania Sekas. Uh na big in Tanzania Sekas. So I really loved um, his game. I think it wasn't more of a game from his side. I think he was just being himself in, in the house. And I think for me, that's the best ever strategy you can use inside the house. Personally, um I'm busy with to spongi le ndla mini is a telenovela. And yeah, yeah, but I got something big coming up, so just wait. Look forward for bigger things. 2024 is my year, trust me. Season 2 is scary, but it's also exciting because it's just around the corner on the 11th of uh uh April. It's happening, you know. So it's just excited but also we are anxious and scared. Ukuthi bombs. Yeah, ukuthi a bomb as a drop. Maning and so kona nendoda enter. Last time I kona enye ndoda this time <laughs> you know, but it's just a lot of bombs, but people must be ready. But it will be so nice though. Yeah. I was really interested in Yoli. Me personally because she's different and she just brings in that vibe in the house. You know, you just want to uh see her and look at her, you know. How about you? Mitch, Mitch I I Mitch. thought Mitch is going to he's going to take it, but unfortunately things happen. Yeah. But yeah. The guys that are in there now they deserve it. Oh my god. Gas kathi uliyema athi fela umfana ngamathi. Omuthi bo. That was it. She reminded me of me. You know something I would do. Get that. Get that. Get that. Too bad, you know, um Yolanda got evicted because I think I think you know she was playing a really really good one you know uh just unfortunate that you know she met that up the speed hump over there um uh mcjunia hey mcjunas nah yeah man i think it's all like worked out i mean i mean he is in the top 6 makeke no na ya mana he is really firing it up like crazy so yeah i think those three people for me i think whatever they were really doing i think they also represent the theme of the season see amosh Ah, they they really mustered. Kumoshi we make this in a lot of, you know, I think a lot of people on social media as well just really felt, you know, the theme. 
you know. So yeah, man, I think that was like the major difference for me. I think the whole um, the polygamy situation, even as a viewer, I would have been like glued to my screen. The whole the Yemaji read and Bumi thing, that was a good strategy. That was it because it's never been done before. Where like everybody is consenting to be in a polygamous situation. So it was really nice. Standout moment for me in the house. Um, a lot of the Saturday night parties. All the Friday night, like Friday TV screenings of like people like getting like, disqualified and stuff. It was definitely shocking and obviously it's not nice seeing somebody, you know, that you maybe like, close to leave the house and stuff. It is a game at the end of the day, but that for me, I think stood out. Like, I don't think there was ever a season where there were so many Friday night, like Friday screenings of people's behaviors. So it was a good one. Hey, I don't know. Hey, guys, it's a hard one, guys. I wanted this season. Like, it's not obvious. Yeah, it's I, you not. know, I want to say my top three is um, Mac Jr., Makeke, and Z. So, but I don't know. I really do not know which one's going to take it. Who are you rooting for? Oh, well, I'm rooting for Z, my baby, my, my darling love. Similar uh, breath, you know. I don't know who's going to win it. It seems very tight. But I'm rooting for my people, you know, Umi, Sinaye, McJunior. If anyone can win it, I'll be happy. Yeah. I miss just being stress free and I miss the food, guys. Uh, I really liked when they did that, like looking back on everyone else, speaking about the other housemates. Yeah, oh that God, was really nice, bro. man. Like, yo, that was so like, wholesome. Like, I felt like we, we were dead. Like, we were dead, <laughs> like, guys. And then, High key, you know, yeah. Just in ashes to ashes, dust to dust, but it was so nice. Like, yeah, that was yeah. beautiful. Yeah. The last question is, how is Ah, she's good. Right now she's a bit sick. That's why she's not here. But she's good. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel? I'm excited. Because I feel like everyone who's in there, they deserve, deserve to be there. there. So, I'm Yeah, cool. same. Like, I'm excited. Like, I don't have no bad feelings or anything, but I, I appreciate everybody that I met in the house. And I like all of them. I love them like crazy. True. So um, I'm, I'm happy to see them in the top six. They deserve it. I think for me, I'm still going to say I've been in the house and I know all of them are capable of winning. Yeah, all of them so are, honestly. So I'm rooting for all of them. Top three. Kekeles. Cakes. Uh, McJuni. Yeah, true. Cakes. But, um, because I've seen, I've seen how the, the public reacts. So I'm going to say McJunior, um, Cakes, and Z. So how do you feel about Z calling uh, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with it, honestly. I'm cool with it, yeah. Yeah, we understand each other. That's my boy. Juni, yeah, Juni. Same, that surprised me. Junior? Yo, like, uh, when you're in the house, you think Mac Junior is quiet isolated and he doesn't do anything. But you, when you watch, when you watch him from outside, nah, he cooks. He's, he, he's cooking. Nah, he cooks. He was cooking. Nah, like, he, cooks. He, he, he know, like, he knew his game. He knew his game. Yeah, I'm That's back. what I'm gonna say. Hey dog, why am I talking so I'm talking too much, dog? <laughs> Look, Papa Ghost for me was very interesting because a lot of people liked him and also disliked him at the same time. He was like a villain, but a villain that could sometimes be good. And you know, in, in, in anything in life you need that. You need that type of balance you know at some point in time you really need to choose yourself and be about yourself and at some point in time you need to be about the people and i think he for me even when in regards to how far he's gotten it, it didn't surprise me you know some people thought that maybe at some point in time you'll be voted out but you know yeah so he's been an interesting character even after here i think there's some things maybe for a and outside of you know the house that are actually going to blossom and it's going to be something <laughs> You know what, this was the most interesting one because previously I never watched it. But this one, everybody was, was going on about it. And I think you, you just had different characters, man. You had different characters, you had different people. Um, there was a whole lot, there was a more, much more of a mess. A lot of things were happening almost every day. So I think that just showed you that a lot of, you know, egos collided, which is, which is good. I mean, it's television at the end of the day. People get to enjoy themselves. And yeah, as long as people enjoy themselves, that's TV, man. He's definitely grown, like, he's definitely matured in that house. I can't wait to see the person he is when he actually comes out and steps out into the real world, definitely. Probably his outrageous moments where he was just wiling out. It was just like, why are you talking like that? Don't do that! <laughs> but also, I know that that's not fully ghost. It was probably just a character and he was just playing his game, man. Uh, the only wish that I have is when he comes out, people can actually see who he is, not the way that they perceived him in the house.
He's a very nice guy. And I feel like very the last warm. few days, the, yeah, he showed, he showed that. that. Yeah. He's a very good storyteller. Also, he amazing, is. amazing storyteller. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what the real world holds for him. <laughs>